Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a uh, favourites and fails, things that I have used recently, loved recently and some things that I've hated recently. So I have a little basket here, just a few things to talk about, some new products, some stuff that isn't new but I love and all that. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with a favourite, um, is this new MAC Highlight in Lunar Lights. So... It is so pretty. It is lovely. I love the colour of it. It's like a kind of white goldy type shade. It shows up lovely. It's like nice and like shiny. But it's like light enough too. Um, I got it recently. It's from the... It's a limited edition like collection. So I don't really buy a ton of MAC makeup. And I don't buy a ton of limited edition. But I saw this. And I actually have one more MAC highlight that's limited edition that I love too. So I figured I would pick this up and I'm really enjoying it right now. But I'll let you know as I use it more too. I've got it on today. That is what is creating this glow right here. So you can definitely see it. It's definitely there. Um, This is a favourite of mine that I've loved for years, but I don't really talk about it very often. It's the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. Now, I love this for my lower lash line. Look at that brush. It is teeny tiny and it's just so easy to get on your lower lashes with a brush like this. And I've had it for a long time. This is a newer tube of it. I think it's harder to get here. Um, I normally buy it in America, but I'll see if I can find it. But I love it. It's really good. Any kind of mascara with a little brush is better for your lower lash line. Because I always find that I like mascara brushes for my top lashes, like big. So it kind of gets everywhere, whereas those kind of little ones don't. Um, let's talk about a fail. Okay, this is a fail for me. This is the Rush Hour Sensational Dry Shampoo from Soap and Glory. Now, it isn't great anyway. I don't think it's like a fantastic dry shampoo. I much prefer Batiste and some other ones. But the problem with this one as well is that it has that, like, it says it has touch release for an extra burst of fragrance. This is the strongest smelling dry shampoo that I've ever had. And as somebody that gets migraines sometimes, like scents are just not great. Like really strong scents that I can smell all day are not amazing. And this, every time I move my head, I smell it. And it's that typical soap and glory scent and it's just too much for me. So I'm going to pass that on because I think somebody else would like that, but it is just not something for me. Okay, a favourite that I kind of forgot about. Um, this is an eyeliner I got a while ago. I decided to start using it. It's been like closed the entire time, so I've only just opened it. But it's the Huda Beauty and it's like a double eyeliner. So on one side, it's like a little, you know, like a typical just like kind of pen eyeliner. Like not even, what would you even call that? Like a pencil eyeliner type. But on the other side is this like brush tip. And I'm not kidding, when I used this today, it was so easy to put on. It was so black. And I'm using it over eyeshadow that sometimes when I use other eyeliners over it, like you can't see the blackness and it kind of fades. But like it really doesn't do that with this eyeliner. So I am loving that. I'm so glad that I found it again and I've been using it again. Um, The eyeshadow that I'm talking about is one that is another fave. Um, I love this. I love the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. But I don't love them all the time. I like them in really kind of like specific times. So I am using today a maze. It's like a bronzy kind of light colour. Um, it is so pretty. So pretty. I use it with a brush. And sometimes like the reason that I don't love using these all the time is because eyeliner and stuff like that. So actually the fact that I could use it today and then put eyeliner over the top of it that was this dark made me love it even more. So yeah, love that. Love that for a little peep pop of colour. I have several shades of them. Let me see. So I also have, let me see, I've probably got another Amaze, to be fair, I like it. I have Coconut, which is like this blue colour. Game Face, which is like a proper bronze. And I have several more. So the fact that I know that that eyeliner now can go over the top of them makes my life so much easier. Um, okay, another favourite is this Milk Cream Bronzer. So Milk Makeup is like a stick bronzer, sorry. It's a baked, the shade's baked and it's a matte bronzer. I love this. So in the summer, when I was in America, I think, or when I was in the heat, I don't love powder bronzer because I feel like it just sticks to my face and then I sweat it all off. This gives me like the nicest colour without like looking like I have too much on either. So I absolutely love it. 
it's definitely like a favourite um and I've been using it a ton and it, you can barely even tell like that's it down at the bottom so like you can barely even tell how much I've used from it even though as I say I use it constantly um I find that it what wears off nicely and that as well so I am loving that okay another product that I've just been loving is this Lee Stafford hair growth activation leave-in treatment so today it has the typical Lee Stafford smell if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about um yeah like sweet and just nice um but it's not a sh really strong scent and it does go away after a while which is why I can use it like in comparison in comparison to that other dry shampoo so it's a highly concentrated growth boosting mix with a shot of caffeine to help hair grow faster and longer so I really like it I've been using it when my hair is wet after I wash it because I only wash my hair a couple times a week so when it's wet I put it in brush it through and then dry it and I don't really know it's the growth effect but I like so much how what I like the most about it actually right now is how that it just makes my hair really easy to brush and like takes out tangles and stuff like that as well okay my final fail so I got this Smashbox photo edit in Snap Queen okay it's these three little shadows the shadows are fine my problem is I get what they were trying to do like making it look like a camera lens and all that but my makeup brushes that I use I'm gonna try and get one out like a big fluffy brush I think the biggest one here we go like a brush like this okay it's too big for in there right so then I've got the whole brush in it to just try and get some color up and it doesn't even come off that much so I'm finding it more difficult to use than anything else so because I have so much eyeshadow I'm just going to pass it on somebody else might really like it if they don't have a ton and if they I mean might like it but it's just not my favorite and then my second last favorite because I see something that's like here that I'm going to talk about in a sec too is this 17 full definition brow pencil so 17 was a brand that used to be at Butch years ago and I loved it it was like it wasn't as cheap as natural collection but it wasn't really expensive either but they had a ton of really good stuff then it went down like so they closed the brand but they've just reopened it and all the stuff I am loving so I've got quite a few things from the brand but currently what I'm really loving is this brow pencil because brow pencils can just be so expensive right and for how long you use them this is very similar to my Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills like brow pencil and I love it and it comes with like the thicker kind of spoolie which is nice too and I am absolutely just loving it so this is shade ashy brown I'll find the prices for all these things as I'm using them as I'm like talking about them and they'll be up on the screen but yeah I am loving this full definition the full definition brow pencil I am absolutely loving it it's one of my favorites I'm so happy I've got it and then finally a favorite that I use all the time like this is a product that I've bought several times is this Ulla Henriksen Truth Serum it is amazing. I love it on my skin. It makes my skin feel so soft and nice. And yeah, absolutely fantastic. You can normally get it in like a kit with a moisturizer and an eye cream, um, which I was talking about the other day, actually, the Banana Bright eye cream in the vlog. So you'll see that soon. You'll have actually seen that by the time this video was up. But yeah, thank you so much. I just like sharing my favorites, sharing products I'm actually using as well, because I feel like a lot of times when I'm showing video, like makeup and stuff in videos, I'm talking about hauls. And I'm not really talking about what I'm using all the time, what I'm loving. So I think I'm going to make this a monthly thing. So this was technically probably then my April favourites. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next month for the May favourites. Okay, bye guys.